your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter, continuing our coverage of NAB 2018, and I'm here with Randy Weddick of Band Pro. And you guys announced a new line of, of uh, Cine lenses. Uh, talk about these. So uh, we've uh, partnered with White Point Lenses. They're a company from Finland, and what they've done is something pretty unique. They've taken the Hasselblad lenses from the mid-'80s, and these are really super famous lenses that have shot some of the best portrait photographs and landscape photographs of all time. And they've taken all the glass out, thrown away the housings, and they've created a new re-engineered cinema housing for these lenses. It's PL mount, but it's also available in an LPL and an XPL mount for use on an LF and a Lexus 65. But what these are are kind of really beautiful vintage medium format optics um, that uh, cover an image circle. They're originally made for a 6x6 camera, so the image circle is enormous on that. It's 82 millimeters, so that can cover any camera now and into the future. Um, and they've got a lot of focal lengths. They've got uh, starting at a 30, going up to a 120, and then there's a bunch of other lenses that are planned. Right now it's a set of five, um, and they've got some really nice mechanics on them. And uh, they're just, you know, they're really highly regarded lenses. Some of these lenses are they're similar to certain vintage lenses that are available from places like Ari Rental or Panavision, but these are those are places that don't sell lenses. They would only rent you those sets. So this will allow some people to you know offer competitive vintage glass on the high end um, for large sensor cameras. How are they able to source all that old glass? So what's, what happened was I think that a lot of the reason people had medium format glass was that they wanted a high resolution picture. And the only way to get a high resolution picture in film was to have a large piece of film. Now you can have something like uh, 5 DSR from Canon, it's 50 megapixel on the size of a full frame imager. You know, you'd, you can still, you can make a billboard or a Vanity Fair cover out of something a much smaller sensor now. So it's, it, it's the physical requirement. So what happened was, all this medium format glass got dumped onto the market, on the secondhand market, and you know they've got people looking through all the different places to get still photography equipment. And there's really like not a lot of, there's a, there was a massive amount of medium format glass out there that all got dumped on the market because its purpose, a lot of it was not just like the character of the lenses, it was the fact that it could physically make a larger physical image. And when that, didn't when that was no longer required you know people was like they would like to use a smaller camera because you know the, the everything else was solved besides the reason they had those large film like medium format lenses and the medium format systems was that was and in the analog world that was the only way to render a high resolution image so there's a lot of these things out there and then what they do is they they go source them on the second hand market and they test these lenses and maybe they think the front element and maybe a couple of the mid pieces from lens a are good and some of the pieces from lens b are good and the, the back element from the c lens is good so like they take different pieces from different lenses and they find the ones that work the best together and then what they do is they even respace the elements away from the original lens formula to reduce color fringing and, and different things that might pop up a lot more on a digital sensor than on uh, you know more forgiving format like film. If one were to try to like take one of these lenses that hasn't been re-engineered, uh, would they have uh, issues with focus and stuff like that, say with the PL or EF mount? I, I don't know about that, but um, A, I don't know of any existing Hasselblad to PL mount adapter even out there, but the, uh, I just know that they have some very experienced lens techs and they've done some more than just a normal rehousing effort. This is what I like to call a re-engineered lens. So, uh, I, you know, some, some really nice tune-ups have been done and it's kind of not just like the same thing as grabbing a lens off of a 500 cm Hasselblad camera. How many focal lengths do they have then? Uh, right now there's a set of five focal lengths that's available for $108,000 and then the there's a 30 millimeter, so that, that that's like a 40, um, I believe, up to a 120. And there's a 30 millimeter that's available also, I think, for 22,000 or so. So that that whole set is 130,000. There's focal lengths up to 500 millimeters that are planned, and uh, so there's a lot of different. This is one of the 
kind of key medium format systems. And also, these were the lenses used by IMAX on their film cameras. So these are like, you know, this is an established look for not only super high end portraiture and landscape photography, but also it's been used in some really high end filmmaking in the past as well. This lens in particular has a special swing tilt collar attached to it. So these are the normal lenses here. These have a standard PL mount on them, but with a few minutes and a lens tech, you can put this swing and tilt optic uh, mount on here and then you could kind of bend lens up and down now this is done like a tilt shift like a tilt shift system to either correct geometry like if you're shooting architecture mm -hmm. or to add uh, distortion to the geometry like if you want to make like a music video or something where like maybe half of the image is in focus and half of it is not like something like miniature yeah, or create a false miniaturizing effect not in post but with a swing and tilt lens the arm that has to be this could take a few minutes to put on it's not something you can do like in 10 seconds or something like that but if you have a bench and a couple of screwdrivers and you know some uh, relatively dust free area you can do it yourself and do you guys sell those arms as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, the mount, the swing tilt mount is an accessory you can buy for the kit. Again, people want to find out more, what should they do? Check us out at bandpro.com or see us on any of our social media channels. Excellent, thanks so much, Randy. Thanks very much. Your source for news from NAB 2018. Indie Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, Panasonic, and Schneider Optics.